Hey everybody, just popping in to say hey, it's been a while, it's been a while. Welcome to my channel, Permission to Live in the End. A lot has been taking place since the last time I did a video here, but I had uh, someone who called me, uh, this was sometime last week, um, and I've been so excited about the story that he shared with me that I said, I'm going to share on my channel just to remind everybody of uh, what Neville talks about when he says, change your conception of yourself and you'll change your entire reality around you. So I just wanted to pop in and remind everybody that this is true. This is true. This is true. If you haven't had a chance to look at any previous videos on this channel, please stop by and have a look. They are timeless videos um, that you can pop in and take a look at any time you want to, to remind you of the various uh, tools that we have at our disposal that nobody has to, that you don't have to pay for, that, can, that you could use anytime, anywhere. Uh, but I just wanted to... Um, stop by and remind you based on a story that a friend called and couldn't help but call and talk to me about a gentleman that I know who is also a Neville Goddard um uh someone who studies uh, Neville Goddard actually he just um came into you know just started learning about Neville and he was like where has this person been all of my life and I'm like well when the student is ready the teacher shows up <laughs> that isn't that how it is um so anyway he called me with two stories to share but on this video I'm only going to share one where he said Lisa only you're going to understand just based on his his friendships he's like only you're going to understand um, exactly what it is that I'm talking about. So anyway, he was telling me, um, that he has or had an estranged relationship with his daughter. His daughter's older. And he said every single time that he would think about his daughter because of their est estranged relationship and because of the past, um, you know, how things have been in the past that every time he thought of his daughter, um, he didn't think good thoughts because this has been their relationship. So based on whatever the relationship has been is how he was thinking about her. So whenever he thought about her, you know, here comes the negative thoughts that he was thinking with regard to her and his experiences that he was having. So anyway, it hit him based on his studying of what Neville Goddard says about changing your conception of yourself and then you change your reality. He said, wait a minute, wait a minute. Every time I think of my daughter, I think of these thoughts. So I'm going to change that. So he decided that he was going to see his daughter just running up to him, jumping in his arms and, you know, they just have a completely different relationship. But the image that he uh, said that he wanted to experience just to prove and know that he created uh, this chain of events was for his daughter to run up to him and jump in his arms. And um, that would signify that that he's the one that created the scenario. So anyway, his um, he lives in California. His daughter works at a restaurant in California where you have to um, make a reservation in order to uh, come to the restaurant. So he called his daughter and he told her that he was going to come to the restaurant. And he was so he was calling to make a reservation. And she said, well, how many people are coming with you? And he said, oh, no, it's just me. I'm, I'm just coming by myself. Um, and I wanted to call and let you know so I could, you know, secure a table. So she says, okay. So anyway, he walks up, he gets to the restaurant or he's outside of the restaurant. And before he could even get to the door, his daughter who works at the restaurant ran outside and ran to him, jumped in his arms and yelled, Baba. B-A-B-A, -B -A, I think it is. Um, something that he has not 
She has not called him since she was a little girl. So not only did she do exactly what he said in his mind, the imagery that he saw in his mind, but she did something above and beyond what he was requesting because he called her, I believe Baba means father, um, but he called her, she called him that on top of running and jumping in his arms, happy as she could be to see him. And here's two other things that happened. First of all, he shared a couple of pictures with me. He sent me a couple of texts of him and her just posing outside the restaurant, having a great time. But he said, ever since this has happened, and because he has changed his mind about the conversations he's having with her in his mind, it changed their relationship. And one of his friends, longtime friends who knew that, you know, um, uh, previously, whenever he would talk about uh, his daughter, that he didn't have very nice things to say or his memories weren't, um, you know, uh, very nice. She, this person said to him, something is so different. Every time you talk about your daughter, every time you say her name, your face just lights up, you smile, you know, so they noticed this difference in him that created a whole nother reality for their relationship. And there's another video that I have shared about a similar scenario that happened uh, inside of my own family. I don't remember the name of the video, but when I find it, I'll share it in the details. But I just wanted to stop by to remind you by sharing this story, which was just told to me last week, that it is when you change your conception of yourself. Conception meaning what you're formulating inside of your own mind. So when you change your conception of yourself, the interaction that you're having with someone that uh, you, you know, it's been difficult or whenever you think about them, whether it's a family member, whether it's an employer, or whether it's a friend. Um, and it doesn't even have to be that you're having a difficult situation with them, but it could also be that you just want to see things better or different. Um, but it's when you change how you're interacting with them in your own mind that you change your reality or the way that they're interacting with you because people are always mirror reflecting back to us the conversations we're having in our minds about them. So they're mirror reflecting it back to us. So when you change your conception, those things you're formulating, those thoughts and imagery that you are formulating in your own mind is when you change your reality and how you relate in relation to somebody else. So just wanted to stop by and share that with you. And I'll see you guys on the next video. And I welcome your comments. In fact, go ahead and comment on this video. Comment, like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video.